From the start, Constellation was mostly showing us Universe A, or what others call the blue universe where Joe's family car was blue. Even though we were watching Universe A, the Joe that we saw was from Universe B, the red universe, because she kept remembering details from there like the color of their car being red. I assumed, like many others, Joe switched places with her version from the other universe during the accident at the ISS. And what I mean by switching places is switching consciousness. Episode 6 finally showed us everything that happened in Universe B, where Paul returned to Earth instead of Joe. I did theorize a lot about this in my previous videos because we did see scenes with Paul being alive, like the wake where Alice saw Paul alive, or the memorial park where Joe saw Paul standing. In this video, I will talk about the things this episode clarified, as well as discuss some questions the episode left unanswered, like who was the shadowy figure that pushed the red button? Was it alive Joe or almost dead Joe? Why is this bud that we saw at the end of the episode is different from the bud we've been seeing in the previous episodes? What really happened at the Apollo 18 mission? Let's start, shall we? I'm quite excited. How it all started In my previous video, I discussed how it was only one of the Joey's analysis that knew about the Cal experiment and this episode proved that. At the beginning, it is the Alice from Universe A who is wearing the blue zip-up jumper, is the one who sees Paul working on the Cal device. So the Cal device only exists in Universe A. That's why when the footage from the ISS is watched later, Paul is not working on the device. And that's why the other astronauts don't know anything about it. This and the other events that happened in the episode prove that Paul switched consciousness with his version from Universe A during the accident. So we watched Paul from Universe A trying to adjust to life in Universe B. At this point, it is still not clear what caused the accident. In a very eerie sequence, Joe from Universe A loses the tablet she holds and hits her head into the window where her left eye is injured. While this is happening, Joe from Universe B, who still holds the tablet, sees a big white light. I'm guessing this is where the entanglement first happens. One thing that caught my attention, and I think this is important, is the fact that the window Joe crushes into has a crack before Joe hits her eye. And a few minutes later, we see someone in an orange spacesuit flowing away from the ISS. This must be the Valia, Irina's version in Universe B. She probably hit that window and caused a crack on the window in this version of the events, and Joe hit the same spot and died. This window is also the same window where Joe from Universe B speaks Swedish to Alice from Universe B. This scene where Joe tells Alice to wave to herself has been shown so many times that I think it's significant and is related to why Alice is also able to experience the entanglement. Valia hitting the same window and Alice being shown on the same window should mean something. We'll see. The parallels. Let me clear out some of the scenes where characters were entangled with their counterparts from the other universes or were able to experience things that happen in the other universes. Alice in Universe B hears her mom playing the piano. But in their house, there is no piano. In Episode 4, we see Joe in Universe A being surprised that there is a piano in the house and the fact that she can play it. I have a piano in my house and I don't play the piano. Because in her universe, she didn't have a piano, but she was still able to play it for muscle memory because their bodies didn't change, only their consciousness did. At least, that's my guess. Joe experiencing eye pain when she was near the Cal device in Henry's office was also proof that her other self was dead in the ISS with her left eye injured and covered in blood. Alice stomping on a rabbit scene was also made clear. Alice in Universe A actually witnessed that moment in Episode 3, but we had only seen her feet then. Episode 6 showed the full scene. We also heard what Paul said to Joe in this episode. You gotta stop breathing. If you remember, when Joe was alone in the capsule, she heard the exact same words, which was quite interesting. Another illuminating scene was Paul calling his wife Frida, when her name was actually Erica. If you remember, when Joe returned to Earth, she called Paul's wife Erica instead of Frida, which shows again that Paul from Universe A is now in Universe B and the situation is vice versa for Joe. I don't know if you noticed, but Irina was not seen in Universe B, which means she is dead here. So she died in space and didn't return, her body still floating in space. Henry is not there either. Instead, there is Bud, who is a drunk loser. But Bud's story is more confusing and we need to talk about it. What's going on with Bud? 
In my understanding, there was an Apollo 18 mission with an accident in both universes. In Universe A, the one where Henry lives, the mission was successful. But in Universe B, the mission was a tragedy where two men died. In Universe A, Henry was deemed a hero for saving his colleagues and safely returning to Earth and is now a successful researcher. But in Universe B, failed at saving his two friends and the mission ended up being a disaster. That's why when he returned, he became drunk and ended up being someone no one respects anymore. But during the accident, a switch happened and the Caldera man switched places just like Joe and Paul did. In episode 3, when Bud speaks to the conspiracy theorist, he says, I fixed everything. Those guys were alive. Suddenly, they were dead. Which means his friends were alive in his reality because he saved them. But he switched places with Henry and the friends were dead there because Henry couldn't save them. That's probably why Bud hates Henry. He thinks Henry stole his place and all the honor and praise he was supposed to get. That's why he stopped taking his pills and has been playing with Henry's mind. He wants to get revenge somehow. But one thing I don't understand is this. The Bud that we've seen in the previous episodes lives on a cruise ship the whole time. But in episode 6, he was living in an apartment. So are there two Buds and three universes in total? Or did Paul visit Bud before Bud went on the cruise ship? The timeline doesn't make sense to me right now. In episode 6, we saw that Bud was telling Paul to take his pills. You take your fucking pills. No fuck taking my pills. Meaning Bud was still taking his pills, but in episode 5, the Bud that we saw had already stopped taking his pills. So what's going on here? Are there two Buds and a Henry or is this a timeline issue? Let me know in the comments. Who pushed the button? Well, in the previous episodes, I assumed that Joe stayed behind injured but was still alive to allow Paul to return to Earth by sacrificing herself. I thought she was still alive when she pushed the button to release Paul's capsule. But this episode showed Joe both alive and dead. I mean, she seemed dead but was also breathing. We know Paul left her in the ISS, but how could she have pushed that button in that state? To me, at that point, Joe is unobserved. Therefore, she's like Schrodinger's cat, both alive and dead at the same time until someone observes her. But that's a theoretical and batshit explanation and something that confuses me. Maybe you guys have an explanation, share it with me please. If you want to learn more about Schrodinger's cat and quantum entanglement theory, liminal space, go watch my previous breakdowns. That should be helpful. Until next week, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon.